Well, good day. Glath here. Welcome back, and thanks for checking back in. And apologies for being so friggin' slack. This ride was taken over a month ago. Well, on this one, on the Thursday afternoon after lunch, uh, we do 323 kilometres heading east out to Miles, where we camp overnight. On Friday, up nice and early, and we head off heading north up to Barcaldine. It'll take us about 734 kilometres and we were chasing big rain and occasionally the rain was catching us as well. On Saturday morning we head east from Barcaldine out to the Queensland coast of the town of Yapoon completing 638 kilometres and we ran from the rain all day but didn't manage to get wet. Well, on Sunday morning we leave nice and early from Yapoon heading south towards home. Unfortunately there's no escaping the rain on Sunday, it rained on us most of the day 759 kilometres of rain soaked riding, hard tough day. Hope you enjoy this ride, we certainly did and don't forget please 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 subscribe, hit both that bell button and that like button as well. Happy days. Interesting start to the ride, just picked the boys up, the BP at Black Soil. I put my wets on before I left home because teeming with rain. I only got 10 kilometres out and it's 30 friggin degrees and I'm sweating like buggery. Anyway, glad the rain's gone. Not sure where we'll stop, somewhere past Toowoomba and then on to Miles where we're going to overnight after that. Good start to a four day ride. yippee ki -yay. in a little town called Warra, sort of in between Dolby and Chinchilla. Couldn't believe it, three o'clock in the friggin' afternoon, couldn't get a coffee in Dolby, which is a reasonably sized town. But there you go, I guess everyone's smart and already at the pub. From here, we'll kick on through Chinchilla and then on to Miles, about another hour to go. I've always wanted to stop for a coffee though, don't blame them. This was our humble abode for the night. It's 6.30 in the morning, 18 degrees, big day ahead on our way to Barcaldine today. It's 760 kilometres or something to that effect, big day in the saddle. Rolling out of miles. This you don't see very often. Here is a double trail derailment. It's hit a truck. I hope the guys are all right. Didn't hear if there was any fatalities. That truck's right under the front of that train. It's lucky the locomotives didn't tip over. Boy, goodness. trains in front of me I want to get past. They're only doubles, not triples. Triple. 
after doing 734 kilometres today, we're overnighting in Barcaldon. Barcaldon is home to the Tree of Knowledge, the reputed birthplace of the labour movement in Australia. The tree grew outside the railway station for about 180 years until 2006, when sadly it was poisoned by an unknown culprit. Ironically, this is about when the Australian Labor Party also lost its way and started to no longer represent the Australian working man and woman, but rather let the minorities like the Greenies and the other far-left wankers hijack their policies. The problem, in my opinion, with all politicians in Australia now is irrespective of whether they sit on the left or the right, is that they're all professional politicians. As such, if they haven't got a politician's job, they essentially have no job to go to. So therefore, they're prepared to hoard themselves to keep their jobs at all costs. It's no longer about what's good for the country and long-term planning, but it's rather just about how they keep their jobs and short-term thinking.
Strand Hotel. Used to meet my every Friday night. Used to meet the boys there for a few rums. We're back there later for a drink. Going up the Esplanade now. It's pretty cool. The Strand Hotel across the road. A couple of coppers there, so a couple of young blokes in trouble. So, Precious, did you get over your little fit for having to walk an extra 10 feet, you big punts? Brazilian punts. Punts. <laughs> the last morning it's Sunday morning it's 6 20 we're about to head off looks like we will be running from rain I doubt whether we'll escape it but hey it's a life of motorcycling happy days left your burn been through rocky ooh, ooh. fueled up Good night.